This is News Nation Now. Good morning. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Alexandra Bush. It is February 21st, and here's everything you need to know on this Sunday morning. Happening this morning, some of the passengers on a flight from Denver landing in Hawaii. This after their United Airlines flight yesterday was forced to return to the airport after the plane's right engine burst into flames and sent debris raining down onto a Denver suburb. The plane landed safely, and nobody aboard or on the ground was reported hurt. The National Transportation Safety Board is now investigating. President Biden yesterday approved a major disaster declaration in Texas to release more emergency funds to help after that brutal winter storm. He's asking federal agencies to identify additional resources to help those in need. That includes grants for temporary housing and home repairs, low-cost loans to cover uninsured property losses, and other programs to help business owners. Meanwhile, the state is now experiencing a warm-up with higher temperatures expected to last for several days. Former President Donald Trump will make his first public appearance since leaving office in Orlando, Florida next weekend. He will speak at the annual Conservative Political Action Conference on February 28th. He's expected to talk about the future of the Republican Party and to criticize President Biden's efforts to undo his immigration policies. Protesters in Myanmar are back out on the streets today after protests turned deadly. Yesterday, police fired live ammunition and tear gas into the crowd. At least two people were killed and more than 10 injured. The military seized power over the country on February 1st. Since then, daily protests have been taking place. New this morning, Novak Djokovic has won his ninth Australian Open Championship and 18th Grand Slam title this morning. Yesterday, Naomi Osaka won the 2021 women's title. She's right here. She beat Jennifer Brady in straight sets. This is Osaka's fourth Grand Slam trophy. And trending this morning, NASA honoring a former mathematician. Yesterday, NASA launched a space station supply ship named after Katherine Johnson. Johnson was one of the black NASA mathematicians whose contributions helped propel the first American to successfully orbit the world. She was one of the women featured in the hit movie, Hidden Figures. The SS Katherine Johnson should reach the International Space Station by tomorrow. Johnson died almost exactly a year ago at 101 years old. For now, I'm Alexandra Bush. Thank you so much for watching News Nation. Now stay with us throughout the day for breaking news coverage here on our app and website. Plus, be sure to tune in tonight's News Nation broadcast at 8, 7 central on WGN America. Start your morning with News Nation. Top headlines and trending stories delivered straight to your inbox for free. Go to newsnationnow.com newsletter to sign up.